All right, you're back with Arthur Moti once again, and God has allowed me to share another moment with you, and I want to say and alliterate something here. <laughs> and one person that was trying to get me to say, you know, they wanted me to fabricate a um, few things to keep somebody kind of covered, and I'm like, no, no, we're not doing that. For one thing about it, this book was written and narrated by the Heavenly Father, so therefore, there was not going to be any lies or fiction stuff made up in this book whatsoever. No. Everything about this book is written by the Heavenly Father, true to the core. So it's not about making adjustments for man. It's all about lifting God and spreading his word the way he wanted me to do it. God put it on my spirit, on my heart. This was a written assignment that God wanted me to see through it. And he speaks truth. And therefore, I want to be truthful. So there was not going to be any fabrication in this story at all. So what you're reading in this book is true to the heart. It's narrated by the Heavenly Father. It has God's presence all in this book. So therefore, there were not going to be any fiction stuff made up. Everything is true, mentioned to the way God wanted it to be. Then that's what I want people to realize. It's not about appeasing man. It's all about pleasing him. It's not about them. It's about him. And I told you guys from day one, it was all about giving God credit. And I am not going to mess anything up with God because God is just that powerful. And once you have witnessed God's power, let me tell you right, right up front, personal experience. Once you become a witness to God's work and his will, and he shows you and opens up your eyes, no puns intended, you, you want to just follow through and do exactly what God wants you to do. You want to follow him to the T. So, no, you've heard from OT.